episode, we share a trip to the closest town, which is Sarong, West Papua, to extend our visas and provision for another month. We share what it costs, our favourite warung, and more. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, guys, so we've just arrived back into Sarong. Well, we arrived last night about 10 p.m. And um, it's time to do our extension. Anyway, we've got our rubbish. We're going over to Nalakai to do all our immigration forms before we go to immigration. So it's quicker and um, they've got a printer. Our printer died. So that's what we're doing. We'll take you guys with us to show you the process. So we've just been to immigration and when you go in, you just have to do heaps of paperwork. Heaps of paperwork and it's the same paperwork every month. So every 30 days when you renew, you do the same forms, you fill them out and you bring your paperwork in pretty easy and then they give you a receipt and you've got to go to the bank or the post office and pay and then that's it wait three days and you come back and pick up your visa and if you come to immigration in Sarong make sure you come across the road and go to this place because the food is really good so it's super cheap and delicious and it's usually quite fresh so Yum. This is our favourite place to eat in Sarong. Straight across from immigration, 50 steps over and look at this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Excellent, yeah. And sauce. Sauce. Uh, oh, this one? Pending? Let's turn down. Sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. oh chicken. Hey, um, yeah, you hungry today? Time. I haven't eaten no breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. There's a mountain of food. <laughs> but our favourite little sauce is here. Rending. This one. This one. This one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> little warong. It's really clean and. There's aircon in here. We really like it, guys. If you come to immigration, make sure you eat here. So tasty and so clean. So and delicious. So yummy. Yeah. And you know what, guys? It's so cheap. Can't even probably buy a cheeseburger for the price of this. All right, remind me to tell them what, how much that was. Is this entree? <laughs> <laughs> so this is Tara's. <laughs> this is what Tara eats. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> oh, and mine. Okay, shut up. <laughs> so I think I think Lee smiled at the waitress a little better because they asked for the same drink. <laughs> Alright guys, so for the two of us to eat that delicious food and have a drink was uh what was it? 130. 130, so 13 dollars. So yeah. $6.50 each for lunch. But mind you, that's like 10 out of 10. You could do that for a quarter of the price in like certain little shops around here, but this is like five star food. For yeah, this one's a little bit more expensive, but still super it. cheap. Are you full? Oh, I'm so full. I yeah. probably ate two meals, really. You'd want to be, that was a big plate. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go and pay for our immigration, our visa, and then we'll probably go to the supermarket, please. from town and Bella has made us dinner. She's made vegetable lasagna and garlic bread, sourdough garlic bread. Oh, she's pretty amazing. We are so lucky. Yum! So Catalba is turning into a convertible. Oh my god. <laughs> Where's our roof gone? Oh, oh roof. it's washing machine day. <laughs> We did buy a washing machine when we got to Ambon. Can't remember what episode that was. It was a long time ago. I think we got, just off memory, I think three years out of a $150 Australian dollar washing machine. I just went and bought another one. 150 bucks. 150 bucks. All right, guys, there it is. We have, what are we gonna call this thing? Wizard of Oz. 
Is it a vase? Nah. It's a green. What do we call it? Who's a vase? It's green, isn't it? We call it Kermit. Kermit the washing machine. Throw it up. We don't have to wash it in a bucket anymore. I washed towels the other day. Now look, I kindly let us use their washing machine, so we haven't really been with that. But I washed towels on our way here, and it was brutal. They took two days to dry. I did not do as good a job as the machine, so I'm stoked. Got a little machine again. What are you doing? I can't open it. Can you please? It's broken. You just grab it like that. And just go like that. It just comes out like that. Whoa, whoa. You're going to cut that new lead? Oh, Bella, that's a brand new lead. This is a brand new washing machine. And Bella, you're cutting the cable. What are you doing? Whoa, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, do ya? Is that what it is? Alright guys, she's cut through the first layer. What is she going to do from here? Uh, didn't, isn't it basics just to uh, cut away from yourself, Bella? 101? Make sure you don't damage the uh, two wires that you are underneath there. There's actually three. So three? Huh. Oh, no. so, so Dad's just bought a washing machine and um, he bought it in Indonesia so it's come on with one of these plugs so it doesn't plug into our wall. So I'm just going to change it back to the Australian one. I've uh, stripped the wires and now I'm just cleaning the old Australian plug from our last washing machine. All this sandpaper and yeah, some contact cleaner too. Make it all nice and shiny. Can you just make sure you put the wires back together the right way so we don't blow our new washing machine up, Belle? Or electrify Mama or yourself? I'll try. Well, it's all you can do, Bella. Let's have a crack. What I'm doing here is unscrewing the wires from the old plug so I can replace the new plug with the old one. That will make our new washing machine have an Australian plug so we don't need an adapter. Oh, what I meant to say was actually Bella's a qualified electrician. So here we are in Indonesia and I found the best quality electrician I could find and it actually happened to be my daughter. Look at her go guys. Oh, she knows what she's doing this one. Lefty loosey righty tighty, is that right Belle? Yep. <laughs> what do you got left there? Got the yellow one there. Okay. Hold on Bella, we've got a little dis disruption here. You keep that down, darling. We're trying to do some work out here. Okay. You can play around making movies all you want, but we're to get the job done. The right one, the yellow on the bottom. Oh, very close, Belly. There you go, guys. That is how you swap an Indonesian cable to an Australian cable. Not cable. Plug point thing. Out with the new and in with the old. <laughs> <laughs> now the final test is to see if it actually works. Let's go. Fella, <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got fried then. <laughs> okay, let's test the washing part first. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, she spins, Bella. What about the uh, spinner? Let's see. Oh, yeah, Look at that spin. It's got a really nice twirl on it. There you go, guys. That's how you do it. Well, I'd like to see it in action myself. Yeah, I can uh, put some water in there for you. Here shopping at Saga in Sabrong. You spend over a million, which is $100 Aussie. These three trolleys here will get delivered to the marina in that truck over there. For free. For <laughs> free. How good's that? <laughs> Service. I wish we knew two months ago. Saga. Here's our truck. I think we'll be in the back of the truck too. <laughs>
our monthly provision, we usually do at least two runs to the supermarket and a fresh market, which we usually spend about 500 Australian dollars. VIP, <laughs> Saga Sarong. First class all the way. It's just time that well, guys. Look at that, it's raining. <laughs> Can I miss you, mister? <laughs> You're a naked man! <laughs> You're a naked man! <laughs> so we've got a lesson for all you guys who live on boats out there. There's one rule when you get in your dinghy. That rule is to not untie until your motor has started. <laughs> this is our friend Tara, who decided to untie the boat before she started the motor this morning. <laughs> We might go and interview her now and see what she reckons about that. I'm tying before she uh, starts the motor. That's so she's mean. paddling back, but she's got a little way to go, so Lee is being very kind. He's going to go. Usually they <laughs> say you're up the without a paddle. She's got a paddle, but she's still floating away. <laughs> Well, it looks like the dinghy's just drifted away with no one in it. way over the shore. We'll see you a little bit after. Do you need help? I'm just going for a paddle. I'm just trying to exercise my arms. <laughs> I'm completely fine. I can do it on purpose. I'm okay. Oh, you're completely fine. I can, I can get back. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see you later. <laughs> I think the guy in the canoe is going to come help you, Tara. <laughs> you get there. You're getting there. Get there. Yep, you're doing good. Oh, you're you actually are. moving now. Tell him that you got there. <laughs> So the lesson learnt today kids was before you untie your dinghy, you start your outboard, an excellent tip for cruisers, very nicely demonstrated by Tara. Thanks Tara. We're back in Sarong provisioning, we've got all stocked up, I think we're heading off tomorrow. So our stuff over there, we're just waiting for a truck to take us back to the marina. Thanks so much for watching. Join us next week as we head off in search for some new adventures here in Rajarampat in West Papua.